What is up, everybody? It's your boy here today, and we have to talk about the game and media once again. Apparently, Hellblade 2 needs to be like the Superman for Xbox, apparently. It's just the most important exclusive according to VGC, when it's like, really? We don't have a plethora of games coming out to Xbox, a diverse, a diverse lineup of games as well. Like a Valve Stalker 2. 33 Immortals, Fable, if that's coming out, um, in 2020, I don't think it's going to 2024, but check get the gist, there's so many games, and not even including the games coming day one the Game Pass, one big one is going to be Persona 3, uh, the remake for that one, which is coming out very soon, but you know, Hellblade 2 just needs to be the most important exclusive, why do you keep putting these ridiculous requirements on these Xbox exclusives, I don't know. At Xbox, there's a plethora of exclusives coming to the platform, and a lot of games coming day one to Game Pass, so, you know, we're not struggling for first-party content on, like, other platforms, but, you know, VTC got us to write this ridiculous article. I just don't get it. <clears throat> Hellblade 2 looks like a fantastic game, but it's just one of many fantastic games coming to Xbox, but, you know, you gotta get those clicks. <laughs> They're like Xbox is just in complete dire straits with first party content. It's just ridiculous. But let's see if you have to say about this ridiculous headline right here from VGC. <clears throat> Halo Infinite could be Xbox's most important exclusive, followed by Starfield, then Hellblade 2. We're starting to see a trend where they say each Xbox exclusive has to be the most important exclusive for Xbox for whatever reason. But they don't do the same for PlayStation. <laughs> Like, was Spider-Man 2 the PlayStation's most important exclusive? I don't know why they do this trend for Xbox, but not PlayStation. It's just very weird. Then he says, let's just enjoy the games and stop raising expectations by calling everything the most important exclusive. I agree. Yeah, don't do this. Hellblade 2 would be a fantastic game, but let's not start raising its importance to levels of hype it will never live up to. The most important Xbox exclusive is always the next one. The crap is hilarious, and this is mostly started by the game and media. <clears throat> uh, are they saying this game is going to flop? <laughs> really? <laughs> it is using examples like Halo, uh, Grounded, and Starfield. All those games were major successes. I don't know what he's saying is going to flop. That's kind of ridiculous. What is PlayStation's most important game? I don't know. Maybe it's Final Fantasy VII Remake, a Square Enix game. Because it's definitely not a first party title, so... I don't know. I don't know why they do this for Xbox, for not, but not PlayStation. It's just very odd. Mm. This game is gonna flop like every other thing, every other game they produce. What other flops is he referring to? I don't know. But, you know, they can live in their own little reality right there where games like Xbox are just flopping left and right. But that's not the case. More salty now. Game is here. You love to see the pure salt. Hellblade 2 will be good. Yeah, that game is going to be a. It already looks pretty. It already looks fantastic visually. And it's probably going to be, be great gameplay wise as well. But it keeps, that got a little salt going from these people. I see. Anything for the clicks and clout, I guess. Yeah. I don't know what makes you want to write a headline like this. Like Hellblade. The Xbox just depends on Hellblade. Like it was like Superman or something. I don't know. It's just very weird. Oh, they, they did write the hook. Apparently, this is just a trend from this website. to send each Xbox exclusive. It's just the savior for Xbox exclusives, apparently. It's just weird. It's not that serious. It's not like Xbox is launching one first party game a year. That would make it important. Yeah, it's a plethora of Xbox games coming out 2024, so I don't know what their deal is, honestly. Uh, we've been hearing this about an Xbox for a decade now. Trash console, trash brand. <clears throat> it will never be able to recuperate after 2013's groundbreaking trash shame for horror PR. Numbers don't lie, Tim Stewart 2024 and beyond. Oh man, this guy's so butthurt about Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a fan base trash a console that loses, but at the same time complain and whine when those says loses don't come to our platform of choice. Make it make sense. Um Where was this article for Spider Man 2 last year? Especially yeah, especially since PlayStation only had one big game in this year. About to close this year, y'all. Like, 
where was this Spider-Man was the biggest loser the PlayStation needs? Like, the article just didn't exist, huh? Uh, these kind of articles are what end up creating huge amounts of disappointment when the game doesn't hit a Metacritic of a high 90s. Person, this guy asked the question, what is PlayStation's next import and exclusive? We would like to know. I definitely don't know. Is it Wolverine? Which that might come out 2026, I believe. <laughs> What's their next big PlayStation exclusive? Choir and Miles would like to know. I feel as if I heard this line before. Yeah, the media keeps using the same the same tactics of boosting up every Xbox exclusive. But you don't have to. There's just a plenty of big bangers coming to Xbox. You don't need you don't even need the exaggerated at this point. And you got a plethora of options to choose from. Please don't do this. Just leave Hellblade 2 alone and let it be what it be. Don't set these ridiculous expectations. Oh boy, here we go again. Funny how back when articles like this were being written about Starfield, I said Hellblade 2 would 100 percent be the next target. Hmm. We've been hearing this since forever. First, it was Halo Infinite, then Redfall, then Starfield, and now this just give up with Xbox expectations are always zero. This dude is so butthurt. <laughs> it's just funny. I didn't really want to convince you that these Xbox games are just so terrible. It's just, it's just so hilarious. It's like, really? Well, PlayStation has been like, or, you know, PlayStation has been dropping absolutely nothing first party wise, but they have the most to say. Their games have the most to say when they have been dropping pretty much nothing first party wise. Just hilarious. Let Hellblade 2 be judged on his own merits rather than being the next best thing since sliced bread. We saw that happen in the past. Not a good look. Um. Uh... This is to set up the highest of expectations so people can tear the game apart. Yeah, I'm starting to, I'm starting to see the trend. Make every game that Xbox makes sound like it's, it's extremely extraordinary then when it doesn't perform to be like a 90 plus Metacritic. <clears throat> people just start trashing it when it's like, you don't, you're the ones who put, the media is the one who put these expectations to be super high like this, not the gamers. Gamers just want great games. You just want great games at a great price. Uh, that's what Xbox is already doing, so. I don't need this. I don't, need, I don't see the need to put these extra expectations on these games. When they keep making great games, I'm happy. <clears throat> Y'all really need to stop hyping these games up to such high ass standards, only for you not really to support them. Just let the game play out on its own. Don't make the the super save a hope for Xbox. That's how these cybers are set up. Did she say that the Xbox gamers don't support their games? <laughs> what? Don't Starfield got like the average of 40 hours playtime in that game? I just don't know where they're just making these stats up. Where are they getting these like these these um sayings from? It sounds like it's just made up. Xbox gamers don't support their games. What is that nonsense? A great eight hour one and done movie walking simulator and then back to PS5 with actual games. <laughs> Funny how you say this because part of was kind of the same thing. People played it for a week, then they moved on. Okay. Uh, I'll break the suspense. A mid game, best Xbox graphics since launch, still behind the PS5. One and done, and installed and forgotten by majority of Game Piss users. <laughs> why does Xbox make them so salty? Oh man, you can just see the salt coming from this comment right here. Oh man, they wish they had a game like Hellblade 2 on that PlayStation, but they just don't. They had the first one, they just, they just don't have the sequel. It sucks, but it is what it is. Um, I will order a Series X from Amazon, play it slash beat it, then return the console. What type of degenerate stuff is that? <laughs> Just buy a console. Like, this is the weird old stuff right here. What do people reply to this with? Uh, I haven't found a reason to own an Xbox since the 360. That guy must just not be playing any games because how could you not want to play Fable? 
uh, Valve, the new Indiana Jones game, the Halo. They got a plethora of games. The next Fallout, the next Skyrim. I just don't get it. But you know, each their teach their own, I guess. Articles like this are just so stupid. After Hellblade 2 releases, we'll be seeing articles like Avowed is Xbox Last Chance. Anyway, I'm excited for Hellblade 2. At the end of the day, let's just be excited for this game. Screw the media with these extra high expectations. Xbox just needs to deliver great games. And they're delivering a great price point, so I'm happy. Once again, to hell with the new expectations. People are just going to attack this game if they don't get like a 90 plus Metacritic, which is just kind of stupid. It's like... We're getting, we're getting these amazing big budget games for a great price, so I'm happy. To hell what the media thinks. And to hell what the Sony fanboy thinks. They're all just haters to begin with. So I'm going to include it right here. Definitely want to see your thoughts down below. Leave a like if you like this video. And as always, thanks for watching and peace.